man. Bob Arum was right all along. Uh, Errol Spence never wanted to fight Terrence Crawford. Let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. That subscribe button. Hit the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase the chance of notifications. We go live or drop the video now. You got the Spence, you know, uh, uh, fanboys, the aerosexuals, as we call them, going around beating their chest out because Spence responded a week later to Keyshawn Davis, okay? Um, right? But one thing that, you know, that holds weight is Bob Arum told Terrence Crawford that they don't want to fight, but it's Bob Arum fought because Bob Arum should have been flexible with Terrence Crawford. And I said this before and allowed him to go negotiate and say, you know what, man? If you can't make the fight, come on back. All right? I let you go negotiate. And, you know, we don't want no... We don't want nothing. You know, if you can make the fight on your own, go ahead. You free. If you can't, just come on back and, and finish your obligation. You know, we'll give you, I don't know, six months to make the fight. Hey, we give you eight months, a year to make the fight. Whatever it may be. You know, because Errol Spence fans like to point out that Bob is losing. Sam talking about... He losing money on, on 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 Terrence Crawford. What is Al Heyman doing? What is Al Heyman doing? Al Heyman losing hella money. And a lot of them fighters over there that Al Heyman losing money on, them motherfuckers broke. They out here doing shop, uh, Lyft and, and Uber and a, a host of other things. Them niggas out here broke, uh, you know, borrowing against the stone. Borrow, borrowing money from Al Heyman. They broke. Hey, bro, you niggas out here driving Lyft and shit. Who was Thomas DeLore made with before he signed with Mayweather Promotions? I can't remember. He left and went with Mayweather Promotions started driving Lyft. I ain't knocking driving Lyft, a hell of a hustle. Or driving Uber, whichever one. He was told to me nobody take Uber no more. You know? And like I said, I ain't knocking. It's a hell of a hustle. But shit, before he, you know, got over to Mayweather Promotions, he wasn't doing that shit. But Bob Arum issue is the lack of transparency. Yesterday I was lying, today I'm telling the truth. Then when Terrence Crawford not around, you out here dogging him out. Now, so then again, he don't know what it is. You saying you kissing his ass when they behind closed doors. When he not around, you talk shit to the media about him. And what it boiled down to, he was mad because Crawford didn't want to handle his media obligations. He just wanted to fight. And Bo Mack and Bernie and Red, Saul, his sister, his mama, his daddy, they can't sell fights for you. You got to you gotta sell the fights yourself, and that I do agree with. And what's the crazy thing about it is he got the personality, he just don't want to show it to the public, to the public. You know? And that's fine. Shit, everybody, you know, everybody going to you know, draw the line somewhere and I done drew the line on fa on YouTube. I ain't gonna never show my face. I ain't gonna never do this. I ain't gonna never do that. So I always try to you try to say never because you never know. It's like, I never do this and I never rob and I never kill. I mean, you never know what type of position you're gonna be in in life. That's one thing life sh will, will show you. You know, sometimes you gotta be in position when a home going to school with, man. You know, and he said he was out here robbing people. He just got that scurvy for him that he was robbing people. Good dude, too. You know, but he had to eat. He had to eat. You know, good family, good everything. One thing about, about men, at least in my generation I came up with moving backwards, one thing about them is you ain't going to ask no other man for no money. You just not. You just gonna have to figure that shit out. And if you are, you one of the younger dudes. You know what I'm saying? You one of them younger dudes that's gonna ask for, you know, because you don't know no better. But a lot of times you gonna you gonna figure it out. But nonetheless, Bob was right. They didn't want to make this fight. Then before the budget, before the budget dried up, you know what I'm saying? Before the budget dried up, um, it was a lot of time to make that fight. You gotta remember, you know, he fought in November. And they really was trying to squeeze that fight in. They knew it was going to be a budget issue. And you know these things coming. You predicting the first, second, third, fourth quarter. You got to remember, too, 
that he was done. They was talking since he was fighting Sean Porter. And I ain't saying, well, they should have threw Earl Spence in there before Sean Porter. No, Earl Spence deserved to fight where Dennis Ugas. not saying that. But that fight should have been signed, sealed, and delivered before, before we got to the last quarter and the fall and winter schedule became an issue. That should have been wrapped up in the summertime. And Lord knows if the number would have did the numbers that we think they would have did, especially in the summer with no Olympics and it's the dog days, only thing really was really good in the summer was Stranger Things. And it was the dog days, and that should take up a hell of time. Them joints, literally movies, not many movies, movies. You know what I'm saying? But it's the best, one of the best shows going. Try being as watching Stranger Things and then turn around and like just being watch Cobra Kai. Man, you'll be through Cobra Kai in a matter of time. Man, shit took me like I would start watching Stranger Things July. I ain't finished like I, like what September or something. But then again, I just don't be sitting around the house not doing nothing either. I'm a busy man. You know, but but Bob was right. They simply didn't want to make the fight. They was going to fight Pacquiao, get the ring belt, and get the hell up out of there. Worst case scenario, Crawford was in a legal situation with Bob. They was going to fight Thurman and get the hell up out of there. I'll tell you what, 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 they, what they wanted to do. And I've been right. And I, can, I should have continued to beat, my, beat the drum on this. He got so he got so his fans got so mad tweeting at him, doing all this stuff. They got so mad that he had to come out and say something. And I ain't mad at him. You know, because he probably do want to get in there and prove everybody wrong. But at this point, in my opinion, I'm gonna start doing what the PBC Tars do, the aerosexuals do. Man, Crawford 35 years old. And y'all ain't fight this year. I'm good on it. Honestly. And like I said, I'd rather send my $80 to Terrence Crawford directly before I give my money to Al Heyman. I'll stream the shit out that fight now. That fight don't happen this year. Straight up and down. They have they had what? Four or five going four going on five years to make this fight and they ain't make it. You had to get this belt first. You had to put the left foot in, put the right foot in and shake it with your nose. So you gotta do the hokey pokey and all that shit. And you know, I'm not blaming the accident. I'm not blaming the eye injury. Shit happened, man. People make mistakes. Earl Smith's not perfect. I'm not perfect. I've done a lot of shit I ain't proud of. You know? So I ain't blaming none of that. But damn, nigga, you know, you had all this amount of time to make this fight happen. And you ain't make it happen. You know? Because Al Heyman ain't want to make it happen. They know Al Heyman is in the wrong. They know Al Heyman, what Al Heyman doing. Hold y'all money. Accumulate interest on y'all money like banks do. Then paying it out in straight. And then, you know, y'all not being active. Y'all fighting once a year, once a blue moon. And then when y'all need to borrow some money because he can't get y'all no fights because he didn't enough fights on the network. Ain't enough network for all the fights to go down. Y'all got minimums and shit. Then he want to uh, tax y'all for borrowing money. He no different than Aram himself. It's no different. You got to show up. You got to show up to certain fights for appearances and all that type of stuff. When they talking about well, Eddie better than him or Bob better than him or Al better than him, nigga, it's all the same. It's all the same. All of you signing to the devil. All of my white networks. All of them affiliated with white people. All of them believe in the Latino dollar before the black dollar. All of them believe in every dollar before the black dollar. If it was more Pakistan, Indians, if it was more... You know, uh, uh, Eskimos boxing, they come before y'all black asses too. So, it ain't, it, like I, I made that video earlier this week, it ain't no difference. And I'm glad why I sent called me. You know, because it ain't no difference. What Al Heyman do, doing, Bob Aaron been doing for years. It's a scurvy business. You just got to see the, you got to see the play and make your move before they try to make the play. Deontay Water just spoke spoke on just spoke on that. Told us a lot of fighters out here broke. He know he know the game. See, this trainer was a fucking judge, Jay Diaz. To a lot of these fighters out here broke, investing is the only way. Cause that's what Al Heyman doing. How when you invest in stocks and all that, or you you know you 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 invest in stocks, how people follow the where the banks put their money at, it's no different. Al Heyman running the same shit. Bob doing the same thing. He used to laugh at Pacquiao when he had to borrow money from Bob Arum. There's a laugh at him. 
And PBC doing the same thing because Al, because Al don't want to swallow his pride and make some of these fights so, so he can be on several different networks. Man, Al could be on, Al could have had all that shit still working. ESPN, NBC, just putting on better fights. Shit, he could have had his own channel. But he still want to, you know, go by the same, you know, blueprint by, you know, just finessing people when people done with it. Were you hitting, were you hitting another recession? What you think when, when people hit another recession, what happened? When shit get tight around the house, you cutting out the necessities, bro. Or, you know, whatever, whatever you start from, if it's cable, if it's, you know what I'm saying? If it's going out to eat all the time, we going to grocery shop. You know, if it's my little caramel fraps, I'm cutting them out. We cut McDonald's out. You know what I'm saying? We going to do board games instead of go out to Dave and Buster's. You know what I'm saying? And that's what these t networks doing. They cutting out, cutting out the bullshit. And they cutting out Al Heyman to deliver a better product. And he want to be stubborn, so be it. Because this, this is definitely the season not to have no boxing. Definitely the season. Football, basketball coming back, hockey coming back, MLB playoff, college football, college basketball, shit. Before you blink, it's the play NFL playoff. Before you blink, it's the Super Bowl. Before you blink, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's March Madness, then so on. So if it's the time that he want to be stubborn and not put on no, no shit, yeah, as we know, he's doing basketball documentaries. He's going to figure some other shit out. Trust me. They're going to figure some other stuff out. You know what I'm saying? And if he fired, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully Al Heyman gave him some of that money. But Aaron was right the whole time. They didn't want to make the fight. That's why they drug this shit out to this point. We ain't had no money, network issues. Fight could have been done. They drug it out to this point on purpose. You feel bad for Terrence Crawford because all they doing is aging him out, and that was the plan before. Had he looked shaky against Sean Porter and, and really barely beat Sean Porter, Rob Sean Porter, Spence fight would have been made. The Spence fight was a measuring stick. The Porter and Crawford fight was a measuring stick. And you want to know exactly what they thought about that fight? Think about what Earl Spence ran out the fucking arena. That's what they thought about that fight. And that's how you knew the Crawford fight ain't going to happen. And Crawford is letting, you know, PBC do the same thing. Triple G let Golden Boy do to him. Triple G has so much momentum, so much activity. Brandon to Canelo and Golden Boy. That shit stopped. He was never the same fighter before, after that. And that same thing they're doing with Terrence Crawford. Fuck all that negotiating. Go somewhere else. Negotiate some fights, get back in the ring. When they want to talk big business, you know, then they want to talk real big business. Then, so be it. But hey, it is what it is. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button, it's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance of notifications. We go live, we drop a video, hit the link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, or Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. I'm on music, Google Podcast, 09. Um, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Shout out to the brother Gary Benson for donating today. Appreciate the love, support, Blair. Peace.